This video will go through 35 multiple choice questions which will give you additional practice to help prepare you for your upcoming Unit 2 multiple choice exam. This video is useful to watch prior to a test and your Unit 2 exam and if you decide that you want to boost your grade and resit the exam. Practicing past papers is a key element to exam success, so do pause the video when you feel the need to and answer the questions with me. Do check out these videos, they may be of importance to you for your written exam. I will put the link to them in the description box. Do check out the free resources in the description box to help you with your studies. Now let's focus on the multiple choice. Our first question. Which of the following is an example of a want? A. Food B. Jewellery C. Shelter or D. Water And the answer is B. Jewellery Question number two. Which of the following is an example of an aspiration? A. Buying some new trainers B. Getting a good job C. Going to the cinema or D. Obtaining the latest mobile phone And the answer is B. Getting a good job Question number three. An investment when compared to a savings product is generally A. Less risky but always brings in a lower return B. Less risky but can bring in a higher return C. More risky but always brings in a lower return or D. More risky but can bring in a higher return And the answer is D. More risky but can bring in a higher return Question number four Advertising can carry A. Both explicit and implicit messages B. Explicit messages only C. Implicit messages only D. Neither explicit nor implicit messages And the answer is A. Both explicit and implicit messages Question number five Which of the following helps people to decide their general approach to financial matters? Is it A. Attitudes B. Beliefs C. Perceptions or D. Values And the answer is D. Values Question number six. A budget is a personal financial plan that usually covers a period of A. Four weeks B. One month C. Three months or D. Six months And the answer is B. One month Question number seven. Which of the following is most likely to be a medium term goal of someone aged 40? To A. Move to a larger house B. Pay their water bill C. Save for a house deposit or D. Save for their grandchildren And the answer is A. Move to a larger house Question number eight. The main purpose of a budget as part of a financial plan is to A. Avoid getting into financial difficulties B. Discover the best deals in the marketplace C. Ensure that there is always a positive balance or D. Guarantee that there will be no financial difficulties And the answer is A. Avoid getting into financial difficulties Question nine. Opportunity cost can be defined as the A. Cost of something in terms of what has to be given up to achieve it B. Cost of something in terms of what it would have cost without any inflation C. Difference in cost between something bought in the UK and the same thing bought in another European country or D. Difference in cost between something bought new and something bought second hand And the answer is a. Cost of something in terms of what has to be given up to achieve it. Question 10. Which of the following is not an example of a significant life-changing event? A. A car failing at MOT. B. A divorce. C. A high return on an investment. Or D. Career change. The answer is A. 
a car failing and MOT. Question 11. Which of the following financial products is the most appropriate for someone to use as rainy day money? A. Authorised overdraft. B. Instant access savings account. C. Notice savings account. Or D. Personal loan. And the answer is B. Instant access savings account. Question number 12. Medium term and long term financial planning is carried out because people want to achieve their A. Aspirations B. Needs C. Perceptions or D. Wants And the answer is A. Aspirations James, aged 35, is buying his first property for £150,000. The mortgage would usually be repaid over a period of A. 10 years, B. 15 years, C. 25 years or D. 40 years. And the answer is C. 25 years. Question 14. Gethin and Nia are both in their 20s and would like to start planning for their retirement. At what age should they start putting money aside towards their retirement planning? A. 30, B. 40, C. 50 or D. As soon as possible. And the answer is D. As soon as possible. Question 15. When considering returns in savings account, the real return takes into account the interest rate and A. Environmental factors B. Inflation C. The state of the economy or D. Values And the answer is B. Inflation Question 16. In the UK, a number of benefits have been replaced by a single monthly payment for some people who are out of work or on a low income. This is known as A. Basic credit B. Standard credit C. Uniform credit or D. Universal credit And the answer is D. Universal credit Question 17. Which of the following organisations can best provide advice and guidance to an individual dealing with personal debt? A. British Bankers Association B. Building Societies Association C. Financial Ombudsman Service or D. Money Advice Service And the answer is D. Money Advice Service Question 18. Which of the following best describes a financial footprint? It is a record of A. All of a person's credit cards B. All of a person's financial transactions C. The national insurance contributions a person pays or D. The pay increase a person receives at work. And the answer is B. All of a person's financial transactions. Question 19. The relationship between risk and reward is based on the idea of A. High reward, high risk. B. High reward, low risk. C. Low reward, high risk. Or D. No reward, high risk. And the answer is A. High reward, high risk. Question 20. Which of the following financial products carries the lowest risk? Is it A. Investment trusts, B. Premium bonds, C. Shares in a company, or D. Unit trusts? And the answer is B. Premium bonds. Question 21. Which of the following factors is applicable to an investment trust but not a unit trust? Is it A. Allowed to borrow money? B. Collective investment? C. Invest in shares of other companies? Or D. Open-ended? And the answer is A. Allowed to borrow money. Question 22. People who are willing to borrow money in order to buy a property are best described as having A. A high degree of risk tolerance B. A very low degree of risk tolerance C. A zero level of risk tolerance or D. An average degree of risk tolerance 
And the answer is D, an average degree of risk tolerance. Question 23, when a person passes risk to someone else, for instance, by taking out an insurance policy, this is known as A, acceptance, B, avoidance, C, removal, or D, transfer. And the answer is D, transfer. Question 24, Ranish and Gita have two small children and want to put some money aside each month for the long term. They are both risk tolerant. Which of the following are they most likely to choose? A. Cash ISA. B. Notice savings account. C. Premium bonds. Or D. Unit trust. And the answer is D. Unit trust. Question 25. Which of the following is not an investment product? A. A notice account. B. A stocks and shares ISA. C. Corporate bonds or D. Property. And the answer is A. A notice account. Question 26. Which of the following taxes might be paid when an individual sells a valuable painting? A. Capital gains tax. B. Corporation tax. C. Income tax. Or D. Value added tax. And the answer is A. Capital gains tax. Question 27. Which of the following is covered up to £85,000 by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme? Is it A. Bank deposits? Is it B. Compulsory insurance? Is it C. Pensions? Or is it D. Non-compulsory insurance? And the answer is A. Bank deposits. Question 28. What is the annual ISA allowance for an adult paying into a stocks and shares ISA and a cash ISA in the same tax year? They A. Can only contribute the same amount in both ISAs. B. Can contribute up to a maximum allowance in one or both types of ISA. C. Can contribute as much as they like into either ISA. Or D. Cannot have a cash ISA and a stocks and shares ISA in the same tax year. The answer is B. Can contribute up to a maximum allowance in one or both types of ISA. Question 29. When borrowing money to buy a property, the ratio of the money borrowed to what the property is worth is known as A. Annual equivalent rate. B. Annual percentage rate. C. Loan to income. Or D. Loan to value. The answer is D. Loan to value. Question 30. Higher purchase agreements are regulated by the A. Consumer Rights Act. B. Financial Services Act. C. Financial Services and Markets Act. Or D. Trade Descriptions Act. The answer is A. Consumer Rights Act. Question 31. Which law is it forbidden to borrow or lend money for interest? Is it A, common law? Is it B, Ishara law? Is it C, Murabaha law? Or is it D, Sharia law? And the answer is D, Sharia law. Question 32. What is meant by halal investment? It must A, be at least 50% based in the UK, B. Be ethical. C. Make a profit. Or D. Pay out dividends twice a year. And the answer is B. Be ethical. Question 33. Derived demand is where a financial product is demanded because it enables people to A. Achieve their wants. B. Avoid getting into debt. C. Keep ahead of inflation. Or D. Take early retirement. And the answer is A. Achieve their wants. Question 34. Which of the following is not available from the money advice service? A. A free online financial health check. B. Face-to-face -face advice at a number of centres. C. 
impartial and unbiased information and advice, or D, recommendation of a suitable provider? The answer is D, recommendation of a suitable provider. Question 35. A financial advisor who can only recommend certain types of product from one provider or a limited number of providers is called A, a limited advisor, B, a restricted advisor, C, a tied advisor, or D, an independent advisor? And the answer is B, a restricted advisor. Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube, are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.